my friends say that heavy things sink and lighter things float. I think it's true but not always because when I go swimming with my swim tube on it makes me float even though it adds to my weight. How is that possible? Let's do a magical science experiment to see what makes an object float or sink. Hello friends, I am Albert Einstein and welcome to my lab where you and I will be exploring science beyond your books, around us, in things that surround us. So, let's get started. Today's experiment is floating orange. For this experiment, you need three things. Two oranges, an unpeeled one and a peeled one. Finally, a jug filled with water. Let's go. Now I have two oranges, an unpeeled one and a peeled one. Which one do you think would float or sink? The the peeled one, because it is lighter. Told you. Still, let's test it. Oh. Huh? How is this happening? How can the orange with the peel float even though it's heavier than the other one. The peel of the orange is like a swimming tube for the orange, without which it sinks. The peel of the orange has tiny little air pockets that trap air inside, just like our swimming tube. Also, notice something interesting. When I try to push the orange downwards, it pops up. Isn't this super cool? But what is pushing the orange up? Well, the only thing in the glass apart from the orange is... Yes, you guessed it right, water. The water is pushing the orange up. But hold on, how can the air inside the peel make the orange float? The air inside the peel is less dense than the water outside and therefore it floats on it. And with the help of the peel, the orange floats. So friends, the next time you see an orange, remember it has its own life jacket. Doodles!